What's going on everyone? Welcome to D-Master Gaming and today I'm going to be doing a different kind of Monday discussion video today about a topic that happened to me a couple months back and I hope you guys enjoy the way I present this. It's going to be a little different than usual. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Have you ever wanted to just stop being a gamer because it's so expensive? Let me break this down for you. In the average expenses of a gamer, you have a decent headset which will set you back about $60 to $300. One to two games, which is 60 to $120. Your console of choice, which in these next gen times is $400. And you have to add the price of a girlfriend. If you add all of that together, you might as well not even have a wallet because you have more air in that than a bag of Lay's. Some of you may remember in the earlier days of my channel, I made an Assassin's Creed 4 video about me basically running around being a pirate and having fun. What a lot of you didn't know is that I rented Assassin's Creed 4 from Redbox just to do that video because I said to myself 60 minus 1 equals $59 in savings because I'm that much of a financial wizard. For those of you who don't already know, Redbox is a renting vending machine where you can stick $1 in via credit card to rent a movie or a game. Going back to my point on how gaming is stupid expensive, some of my friends don't have the luxury of getting an Xbox One and post pictures like this on Facebook because they're lonely. So right around the time when Destiny was released, I bought the game for Xbox One but wanted to play with some friends who were only on 360. So my immediate reaction is, I'm not going to spend $120 on one game when I can spend $1 at Redbox. Because I'm a financial wizard. So I'm with my parent slash guardian, she puts in her credit card to rent herself a movie and also so I can rent Destiny for Xbox 360. And I get this. What the f is this? Not gonna lie, my initial reaction, I was pretty mad because I didn't really open the thing until I got home. I was pretty mad. Granted, I already had Destiny, but it's still a little bit discouraging when you open up a game disc box expecting a disc to be in there and you get a piece of paper that looks like the disc. And apparently, I get lit off easy because my disc or paper photocopy of it was actually in color. I've been doing research on this sort of red box paper disc scam. It's been going on for the past two years, in fact, and I'm just finding out about this like a couple months back. Apparently, the way Redbox, you know, scans the game discs or movie discs is that there's just a barcode in the middle, and if you photocopy it, they'll just scan the photocopy and it'll still let you get away with it, and you can just essentially buy a game for one dollar as long as you give a, a piece of paper back in the machine. So I did the smart thing to do and actually notified Redbox, but all they did was give us a code so we can essentially try again because we didn't really get anything, we paid a dollar. I just gave that to my parent slash guardian because I was pissed beyond the point of return. And most people would be, and now you're thinking, but dude, why would you just make a video about it and now everyone knows about it and now people will want to do it more? Yes, that is true, but... Like I said, I haven't actually gone to Redbox for a game ever since this incident. I only use movies, because let's be honest, who's going to steal a movie from Redbox when you can just torrent it? But anyways, the point is, Redbox, you need to make a real solution to this problem. Otherwise, people are going to start wishing that this ancient civilization comes back from the ashes and puts you out of business. Just saying, Redbox, you need to step your game up, son!